there. Um, we've uh, had really, really icy conditions lately. It's been thawing and then freezing and a little bit of rain. So uh, pretty tough to work the horses when you don't have an indoor arena. So, um, so this is a great time for me to, you know, work on brushing and uh, horsemanship, just handling. Without having to move at all, I can uh, do quite a bit with Phoenix still. I can work on brushing him. I can work on touching his legs and his belly and his back. And, you know, uh, so I don't have to stop my training at all. I find when the weather is nice and the footing is good, I don't really want to slow down to do these things. Um, and I probably should do them more than I do, but I'd rather do other things. So now I can't do other things. So it's the perfect time to do these things. So I'll just show you um, how I approach him uh, with the brushing. Uh, I do it while he's eating. So he's relaxed and um, uh, it, it does actually help because he'll stand and then he'll eat and and uh, he just has a very relaxed demeanor when I do this. So I always show him what I'm up to. So you can see, um, I don't kind of grab him or chase after him or make him behave and stand and all those sort of things that we've all done with horses. Um, you can see that he turns his head away and then I just stop and I wait and he brings his head back to me every time. So if, if uh, I just slow down and wait for him, he always uh, comes back to uh, wanting to be quite cooperative with me actually. And I feel that with most horses, um, we, we tend to, as humans, get quite bossy with them and, and manhandling them and making them obey and making them stand while we brush them. And if you have sort of a more easygoing approach where you're not, confi I'm not confining him at all, he could leave if he wanted to. And um, even Jazz has left her hay from a different place to come here because she wants to be part of what we're doing. So if you give them a chance uh, uh, to do that, they uh, often, I won't, maybe not all horses, but my experience has been that most horses will actually come to me for the interaction. They really enjoy it, especially if there's no stress or pressure. Uh, so when I approach him, you can see he turns his head away and then I just stop and I wait and he turns back to me every time. And now Jazz has joined us so that she can be part of what we're doing too.